Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 135 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together, and I'm so glad that you have joined us on the journey today. It is such a joy to do this journey with you. I know that God has been really changing my life as I've been reading through the Word every day, uh, reading through the Bible in a year, and I really pray that it has been the same for you, whether you have joined us from day one or whether you've just jumped on board this week. I hope that every day uh, you feel like God's speaking to you and you're getting a lot out of um, these readings. So um, the first thing that really spoke to me out of our readings for today was out of John 8 verse 53 to 55 where it says, Are you greater than our father Abraham? He died and so did the prophets. Who do you think you are? Jesus replied, If I glorify myself, my glory means nothing. My father, whom you claim as your God, is the one who glorifies me. Though you do not know him, I know him. If I said I did not, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him and I obey his word. Uh, In this passage of scripture, we can see that Jesus is savage Jesus, right? He is going after these guys who are accusing him of being like demon possessed and all this sort of stuff. Jesus is out to defend the truth and he is not afraid of confrontation. He is not afraid of the conflict here. He is not afraid to call them liars. He is not afraid to just call out what's completely wrong about what they're saying. And Jesus is being bold and he is speaking the truth into this circumstance as he defends the truth about who he is and where he's come from and that he is the son of God. And um, this was such a great reminder to me today that, hey, you know, Jesus is not just gentle Jesus, meek and mild, holding, meek and mild, holding the lamb in his arms, like everybody, peace and goodwill. You know, he's also able to stand up and defend the truth and speak boldly and courageously. And, you know, sometimes that doesn't quite translate to today's culture where we're like, just tolerate everything. Thing. Don't ruffle any feathers. No, actually, we see both um, both sides of Jesus in in his day and his culture. That he was able to know when it was appropriate to just you know you know be gentle and and to speak truth in love and all of this sort of stuff. And he knew when it was appropriate to come against the lies of the enemy and to speak the truth and to not be afraid of what people thought of him. So uh, just an encouragement to us today to not always back down from, you know, conflict and different things like this. Maybe sometimes God is actually calling us to speak up and speak out into circumstances and situations where the truth is coming under fire, where the lies of the enemy are having a field day. Maybe God has called you to speak up. We need to actually make sure that we're tuning into to the voice of heaven, tuning into God, just saying, God, what do you want me to speak? What do you want me to do? Um, what does a voice of wisdom say in this situation and scenario? Um, it doesn't always have to be, you know, like sitting back, not saying anything, holding your peace, you know, being quiet, all that sort of stuff. Maybe actually God is calling you to speak up and speak out um, in the circumstances and situations that you find yourself in. Um, I loved also um, just this reminder as we see in this chapter in Judges, in the story in Judges, where Israel is going to war with Benjamin. You know, they're the same, you know, people of God, but all of a sudden they've so embraced the culture of the world. They've just, you know, had cycles of sin and different horrible things have happened. We've read this in the passages of scripture that we've been reading. And then all of a sudden we see that they're going to war with each other. They're murdering each other. They're killing each other. Um, And it was just a reminder to me today that when When we embrace the culture of the world around us, when we embrace the habits and the ways of the world around us, we actually start to act like the world and not according to the word of God, which is actually so far from the way that God has called us to live. And specifically in this passage of scripture, it just reminded me of how sometimes when we get an offense, when we get um, bitterness in our hearts, unforgiveness in our hearts towards a brother or sister, we can end up sort of metaphorically going to war with that person. We can end up sort of cutting them off and cutting them out. Now, I'm not no longer friends with anyone that's friends with them. 
Actually, no, that is so ungodly. It is ungodly to go to war with a brother or sister in Christ. The New Testament tells us how we should restore and reconcile relationships, how we should get rid of bitterness and unforgiveness in our hearts, how we should make it right between us. You know, maybe you don't have to have the most perfect BFF relationship, but we do have um, a, a instruction to maintain unity with our brothers and sisters in Christ, to actually be godly in this scenario and to not let bitterness and anger and hurt sort of prevail in our hearts and ruin the relationship and keep us at war with one another. We see in this passage of scripture that the tribe of Benjamin almost got wiped out through this particular war. And so uh, it was important that they reconciled. It was important that this was not the end. This was not the demise of part of the people of God. And in the same way, uh, when we you know, go to war with our brothers and sisters in Christ, when we act in such an ungodly manner and let that fester for years after years after years, we can actually miss out on what God has for the future of that relationship and that, um, that area of our lives. We need to make sure that we're following the word of God in all of these areas because God wants to bring blessing and provision and his uh, plan and purpose through all sorts of relationships and areas of our lives. And when we go to war with our brothers and sisters, we're actually, you know, um, not following the word of God in that particular area of our lives and stunting our growth in the plan and purpose of God for that particular area of our lives. So that's what this passage of scripture spoke to me about today. Hey, I've got to forgive my brothers and sisters in Christ if anyone's offended me, if I have, you know, bitterness or unforgiveness in my heart towards someone, I need to make sure that I'm not at war with them in my heart, that I'm actually you know, um, allowing the presence of God to restore, reconcile, and actually um, allow my growth in that area of my life to go forward. So I'd love to pray for you today, my friend. Love to pray for us. Love to pray um, that we would uh, have wisdom to recognize the moment and the circumstance and what what the circumstance calls for when it comes to sort of speaking up and speaking out into a sort of sort certain situation. And I would love to pray for us as well that if there is any offense or bitterness or unforgiveness in our heart towards a brother and sister in Christ, um, that we would follow the word of God and God would help us to do what he has called us to do in that circumstance and situation. So God, I just pray for my friend today. I thank you for um, speaking to us through your word, God. I thank you that it is always relevant. It is always timely. It is always something that we need to hear. And so God, I just pray today that if there's a circumstance or situation that we need to speak up and speak out into um, today, God, I pray that you would give us wisdom to discern what that is and when that is, God. I thank you, Lord, that we see this picture of Jesus, not always sort of meek and mild and gentle, but you know, also standing up bold, boldly and courageously and speaking the truth to defend uh, the truth in the midst of the lies of his culture. And so, God, I pray that we would do the same, led by the Spirit of God, led by the wisdom of God. And God, I pray as well that we would be people who wouldn't hold offense or unforgiveness or bitterness in our heart towards a brother or sister in Christ. But God, we would follow your word when it tells us um, exactly the steps that we need to take um, in these sorts of circumstances and situations so that we're not living at war with a brother or sister in Christ and living in an ungodly state uh, in that um, area of our lives and stunting our growth, stunting our impact, stunting the plan and the promise of God going forth in our lives in that particular area. So God, I just pray that you would help us to live according to what you have called us to do today, Lord God, even when it's hard, even when it's difficult. I pray, Lord God, that you would empower us to make the right decision and follow you into all that you have for us. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody said, amen, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, my friend. I would love to catch you tomorrow for our next daily devotion. I love, absolutely love spending this time with you and spending time in the word. And I would love to hear from you as well. If you have any comments, please comment down below. I'll catch you tomorrow. See you then. Bye.